Well, starting this morning, if you're stepping outside right now, it's warm, it's humid, and of course, we have a little bit of some fog already starting us out. We have a dense fog alert for our eastern parishes out towards Hammond and Kentwood. We're seeing along 12 and 55. We have a dense fog alert. What that means is you're going to see some dense fog if you're headed in that area, headed towards, of course, the Mississippi and towards Alabama coastlines for them. But for the rest of us, we're not in that dense fog alert, but we are going to be seeing some fog right now. We can see our visibility is down pretty much everywhere for most of us. We're going to be watching to see how that's going to impact the rest of your morning. We'll slowly start to see that clear out as we see the sun rises, and we'll get some partly cloudy skies to roll through for the rest of your day. Taking a look, we're seeing there's that haze out there. We're down to three miles for your visibility. 68 currently here in Baton Rouge. We're seeing 70s for us, 73 towards Gonzales and down towards Homa as well. So it's warm, it's humid, and we're seeing even the cooler spots. Kentwood at 63 and 65 towards New Roads, getting close to that dew point, causing that fog. As we go into the rest of your morning, gradually going to be warming up. We're going to see 70s pretty early. We're going to hit 9 o'clock, hitting those low 70s. Seeing a lot of cloud cover at the beginning of our day. And then we hit 80s for our end of the day. High temperatures back into the mid 80s. 84 for us here. 85 for a few we could see one or two get a bit warmer we break apart the clouds a little bit as we go into the evening because we could see some showers but we're all paying attention to the cold front that's going to be coming through as we go into your saturday so let's take a look at today's um, looking at our severe storm threat a lot of the activities out way past into texas and arkansas but we do have a little bit of some activity here we're seeing thunderstorms and that marginal risk and then once we go into the rest of your Saturday, we're going to be watching how it goes from overnight into Saturday. We're going to have the increase in rain chances, and it's going to be early in that morning. That is going to be some strong to marginal risk for those strong storms. So a lot of strong winds coming along this line, and the timing of it is really what we're watching for. So going to the rest of today, not too bad with a few of those isolated showers. And then here we are at Four o'clock in the morning, we're seeing it's just entering our area. See this line of storms going to be pushing through, giving us quite a bit of rain. By eight and nine o'clock, we're starting to see the heaviest stuff is moving out of our area, but we see some light showers and a few pockets of some rain still into about 10 o'clock. But by the afternoon, we're going to start to clear out the rain chances. We're staying in the mid 70s and we're going to be seeing we don't cool down and dry out. What we do see is our warm, humid conditions return after this front that comes through. So into the week, we're going to see mid-80s returning, some cloud cover a little bit. But overall, what you're watching for the rest of your Friday is mid-80s, a bit of humidity. Then we go into Saturday morning watching that line of storms that are going to be coming through our area with some strong winds.